How's it going YouTube? Welcome to the vlog. Today I've got my girlfriend Kayla with me and we're driving down to Berkeley. Uh, we're going to a reptile store called East Bay Vivarium. We're gonna kind of check it out today, see if there's uh, any snakes that we might want to take home. It's kind of a rainy day so we thought, what the heck, let's go for a drive. All right guys, so we just made it to East Bay Vivarium. We're gonna go ahead and go on in and check out what they got. All right guys, so we're about to leave East Bay Avarium here. I got a new snake. Um, not gonna take it out of the bag right now, but I will when I get home and show you guys exactly what I got. Well, we just got home, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up the bag and show you uh, what I got. So this is actually one snake that I've been looking forward to getting for a while now. I've been doing a little bit of research and figured out this is what I want. And these guys are really cool. I don't know the snake super well yet, so I'm going to try to take it out and uh, hopefully not get bit because these guys have some pretty gnarly teeth. So, this is actually an Amethystine python, also known as a scrub python. Now, this is Australia's longest snake species. These guys will grow anywhere from three to, believe it or not, eight and a half meters is what a big one's been um, recorded at. So, for those of us in the States, that's about just under 10 foot to almost 27 foot long. These guys are incredibly big. Now the diff main difference between these and some of the other large snakes like the reticulate python, anacondas, um, and Burmese pythons is these are fully arboreal, which means that they're up in the trees even when they hit that 27 foot long. Um, so that's a big snake up in the trees. And believe it or not, out in the wild, these guys will actually at their adult size, feed on uh, adult wallabies, which is a pretty big prey item. Now these snakes are incredibly strong because of how much time they spend up in the trees. 
they also have adapted some pretty gnarly teeth. So their teeth are extremely long and recurved, and that's for uh, picking up prey items such as like birds, whereas they don't have, get a second chance. So when they bite, they strike out and bite that prey, they need to be able to hold on and pull it in. Um, so that being said, you definitely don't want to take a bite from one of these snakes. Uh, luckily enough for me, this female seems pretty, pretty well behaved. Um, dramatically different than the demeanor you'd see of a wild scrub icon. Now these guys also tend to like hone in on body heat, so you'll see some like the wild ones when you catch them. Um, there's a lot of incredible photos online of these guys just biting people right in the face because they actually hone in on the, the body heat produced by your mouth when you talk or just breathe. Um, now I'm going to take this time and go ahead and get her set up and end the vlog here. So go ahead and uh, feel free to subscribe, hit that like button, and give me some feedback. Um, I'll get her set up and I'll do a follow-up video in a little bit here after she goes through quarantine and gets into her new permanent setup. Have a great day.